Hey y'all, we got a wonderful video for you this evening. We are working with the T5 Legion and we're going to be doing some more GPU upgrading. We have the 1660 Super and we have some 3D Time Spy benchmarks, uh, a benchmark results for you to go over really quick. And this is the DirectX 12 benchmark and we scored 6,122. Uh, that was with the 1660 Super. And our first GPU score was 37.85 and our second GPU score was 33.67. Of course, we're going to want to see that increase with the 3060 Ti and it should be a pretty big jump up and uh, if you have the 400 watt power supply in here this is going to be the last graphics card you can do before needing a larger graphic or larger power supply not a larger graphics card but a larger power supply tech nitwit are you going nitwit on us yes you are all right guys i'm going to get this thing configured and we are going to do some upgrading really quick i'm going to show you how to upgrade the graphics card and then a benchmark after that all right nitwitians we are gonna go and get all our cables unplugged first our power supply cable make sure the computer is powered down then our hdmi cable and a net, net cable and if you got any other usb cables go ahead and pull those really quick Put these off the side because we're going to need these for later. All right, guys, you're going to, the last thing we're going to do in the back right here, we're going to grab these two thumb screws and undo them and then pull our glass panel out of the way. Set that off the side because you're going to want that for later to put back on. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to come and do in here is grab this 8-pin PCI power cable and unplug him. Grab our iFixit kit with our T5, or not T5, sorry, I'm so used to doing HPs, I'm gonna say T5 Torx head, or T15 Torx head is actually the correct one, but we're grabbing a P2 Phillips, and we're gonna undo these two screws right here. But before I do that, I wanna unlock it, and then go ahead and undo our screws. It's a pretty simple upgrade, guys. It's literally uh, one power cable, the button in the back that you have to snap, and then two screws. Go ahead and wiggle and jiggle our graphics card, and it's on out. We are going to grab our 3060 Ti. This is such a beautiful graphics card, guys. Look at this thing. The heatsink, I mean, it's just a really sexy looking graphics card. EVGA did a good job on this thing. And then we are going to go ahead and slot him on in. Slot her on in. Uh, whichever one, doesn't really matter. Him, her, whoever she wants to be. Whoever he wants to be. Grab our 24-pin 24 24 pin power cable. Yeah, you're putting a 24-pin power cable in your GPU. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and screw our GPU in so it's secure so we can uh, put our power cable and stuff in on in. And that is so we can kind of be a little bit rough with it and it won't uh, hurt it. Make sure we're locked. That's locked. And we're going to grab our 8-pin power cable and we are going to get it locked in here. And for some reason, this power cable is being a real nightmare. We might actually have to pull some more slack from the other side. First time I've had to do this with one of the GPUs, but we might as well do it because we're going to have other GPUs that are going to need it. Come around to this side, and we're going to pull this panel off. We're going to locate where our 8-pin is, and they got it really wire managed into here. And you can see they got it zip tied right here, and we need some more slack. So we're going to have to snip these guys. So side cutters, flush cutters, anything you can use, but Kind of sucks because we're messing with our wire management, but it is what it is. And we got three zip ties we got to cut. And that should give us more, there we go, a little bit more slack on that. And then we can pull that up. Go ahead and put your back panel back on. And if you see now, now we have some little bit more slack here. You can pull up on the cable. There we go. We just need that extra slack to get that cable in there. And we are ready to run a benchmark, guys. So meet me back there for that, and we'll get that rocking and rolling. All right, Nitwittians, the results are in, and we are going to jump over to the TimeSpy 3D Mark benchmark, and we got a score of 10,581. That's verse 6,124. That is a difference of 4,457. Holy smokes. This would be the upgrade to go if you could afford it, get a 3060 Ti. Of course, the difference with the 2060 Super was 2,500. 2,352. So yeah, I mean, the 2060 Super is still an upgrade, but it really, if you can get the 3060 Ti, that's where you want to go. Uh, so our first GPU score with the 3060 Ti was 62.64, and our second was, sorry, I said that incorrectly. Our first was 73.27, and our second was 62.64. Uh, that's first 37 frames per second and 33 with the 1660 Super. So really, guys, 
This is the upgrade to go if you don't want to have to upgrade your power supply and this is as far as you want to go. You could also do the 6600 uh, XT. It's probably not going to be as nice as the 3060 Ti, but I haven't done that video yet, so you have to wait and see. That's coming up soon, guys. This was Tech Nitwit and Tech Nitwit Productions, and I'm out, y'all. Hey guys, it's Tech Nitwit here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.